Boy, shut up. I'm filming, dog. Stop. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Alex Recruit, or whatever the frick you want to call me. And today, we are going to be making some cool, fat fucking 808s. Oh! I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do like some fucking extreme fucking phases for my thumbnails. <laughs> my most popular video so happens to be the 808 video that I made fucking three years ago. <sighs> Fucking, I hate that video. I wanted to make a video kind of like the same, but with better knowledge that I have obtained over the last three years. And let's just get the fuck into it. An 808, especially for trap music, it, it is such a big part of the overall sound. I think it should be unique to you, you know? So I'm gonna show you some of the ways that you can create some cool 808s using nothing but stock and free plugins. Make your own cool, unique 808s that, you know, are you and they're your style, you know? So we're gonna use the 808 that comes with FL Studio. We are actually gonna just use stock shit and free plugins. Fuck, I can't find the 808 that comes with FL Studio. Dude, I, I was like almost a hundred. Oh, there it is. <laughs> the fuck did I, did I click on that earlier? And we're gonna route it to the mixer. Bop, bop. So there's two parts to the sound that I wanna make today. We're gonna have the high end and our low end. And we're gonna split that using patcher. So let's load patcher. If you don't know how to use patcher, I think this is gonna be a great example for you to get the grasp of how this works. We're gonna split this shit into two different shits, right? Let's load up two parametric EQs. Think of this shit like a cable and like you're plugging in the FL Studio sounds into this parametric EQ and then into the output that goes back into FL Studio. And so now we have two audio signals going through parametric EQ. So on the top one, we're gonna do the fucking high end. So we're gonna use this preset here to cut out all the low end. I'm gonna cut around here, around like 200. And for the bottom one, we're gonna do the same shit, but we're gonna cut the opposite side and then blam, okay? And let me make a little fucking loop with this real quick. This shit's a little muddy because there is no sidechain. For the sake of the tutorial, just create a little uh, volume automation clip that ducks the 808 behind the kick. All right, so let's get back to this shit. So I wanna show you the difference between the top and the bottom, right? So these are the frequencies that I'm letting through for the bottom. And these are the frequencies I'm letting through for the top. So what I wanna do is actually add a wave shaper prior to this shit because you can't really see much going on there on those low mids and mids and highs. But what this uh, fucking fruity wave shaper is gonna do is boost all of our frequencies. And uh, now watch, let me turn up the wave shaper here. There's a lot more stuff going on in the high end and as well as the low end. So now we are going to distort the top end and we're gonna do that with, I don't know, fucking the fast distortion. Plug it in. So now our sound's going through the sub and it's also going through the highs and the highs are getting distorted, but the sub is staying nice and clean. So let's uh, fuck with this shit. Just so that I feel confident that my sub is nice and clean, there I'm gonna put a multiband compressor and um, put it on the sub and put like the bass boost preset and you can put another EQ after that for the top end and kind of clean up the shit that you don't like we'll put a high pass here make that also very steep And that is just with one form of very simple distortion, but I've actually downloaded a couple of free distortion plugins. I've never used these before, but uh, they looked pretty cool. Let's see, this first one's called Gorgon. Let's channel it and see what this sounds like. Let's actually go through some presets. Oh shit. That's pretty cool. Oh! Yo! Oh 
shit. Let's say you like this sound, right? I think it's kind of interesting. You can actually record it using Edison and create your own sample folder, which I would really highly encourage you guys to do. All right, cool. So now I recorded that really quick. So select the area that I want, and then we're gonna fade out by holding Alt F. And uh, let's see. That sounds super cool. Let's try another free plugin. Oh, it looks nice. Oh, that's cool. Keep in mind, keep in mind, this is the fucking stock 808 from FL Studio. Keep in mind, it was this whack ass shit that you heard in the beginning. This, that. On some gom shit right now. So I think I've gotten the point across. This is a way that you can experiment and you can try any other types of plugins. The possibilities are endless. You can put anything you want. It doesn't have to be a distortion plugin. You can get creative and I would encourage you to get creative and do something uh, out of the box and it might sound fucking amazing and I'd love to hear it. So let's actually go and get some of the 808s from my Hybrid Bass Volume 2 sample pack and run it through this chain and see what happens. So this is one of the cleaner 808s in the pack. Okay, that shit sounds fucking insane. The amount of bass that's coming out of here is ridiculous. Let's see what happens if we switch this up. Oh! So obviously this can get cleaned up by, you know, doing what I showed you earlier, recording it in Edison, feeding it out, doing your thing, turning down the volume, because right now it's obviously clipping. When you bring it back into the mix, just turn it down a little bit. That, that was surprising. I'm actually surprised by how awesome this sounds. I'm gonna have to fucking uh, save that one. Let's try another 808 from the pack. Let's try one that's already dirty and see what happens. Okay, let's go back to Gorgon for one last fuck around. Let's replace the 808, so just go nuts. That sounds weird. Oh, that's a fucking, this is a trip right here. If you clean this up, that would be pretty fucking cool, you know? I'm gonna hear you guys and do a little drop with this real quick. And yeah, that's how you make some cool 808s. I hope that you guys learned something from this video. If you want to support the channel, consider buying the pack. All of these 808s that you just heard, plus some more that I'm going to work on now, will be added to this sample pack. And if you already bought it, don't worry about it. You will get an update email with all the new sounds. And that's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed, leave a fucking like. Grab your fucking hand and just fucking beat the shit out of the like button. All right. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you're a Patreon, lucky you, you get the 808s right away. As soon as I finish, I'll put them on Patreon. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next. Shit. <laughs>